Yo, how's everyone doing? So jobs for today, I've got to put a new lighting circuit in the garage. So this is the rewire for like, there was a 90s build that we've done loads and loads of work to, including the kitchen and basically ended up being a complete renovation job, which was supposed to be not this, but it is. Um, so I've got to go jump into the garage and we've got to put in a new lighting circuit in there because we have rewired the entire house and that is the last stage to do it but also by doing that i've got to remove the existing consumer unit get rid of that there's two temporary sockets which have got to go because they're all still in use and that is the last part of this job electrically for me to do so let's jump in the garage and get sorted so we are in the said garage. Um, so we have got a little loop button holder, loop, yeah, loop button holder um, that's got to come down. So that is the only light in here and the client would like a strip light. So we're gonna go for a four foot strip light, Bosch. There we are, that's going in. Uh, light switch is just here. So, gonna... so the light switch is just, just here. Original board for the house, that's got to come off. These are our two temporary sockets that we've had running um, while we've done the entire renovation for this house because that's how we like to do it. Um, yeah, you may notice that it was on the old RCD side, that is that. Um, and also the board, so this is the actual board, the new board that's ready to go. And we have also got a six amp RCBO ready in, almost like we planned it. I don't know what that bleeping is. There's a bleeping in here, but whatever. Um, so we've now got to take that back off and then put a new circuit in for this light. So let's get some kit in and let's get that old board off. When you're working on any electrical installation, you need to make sure that it is safe to work on at all times. Now there is the meter cupboard is literally just the outside. So I can't see that at all times. So you need to be using a lock off device. So a simple device like that will completely save your life and it will stop somebody else from having to turn on the power while you're potentially working on it and obviously if you can imagine that's not the best thing to be happening now you need to be able to lock it off and also label up to say clearly do not operate don't try and do it also leave your contact details in there because if you are on a bigger site and there's multiple trades coming in they need to be able to get hold of you if they need to get turn the power on for whatever reason and obviously make sure that it's safe to do so now obviously you have to have full control of that do not leave the key where anyone else can get it because for obvious reasons people are selfish and they will make sure that they look after number one which potentially can mean that you won't end up getting home Okay, board's gone. As you've just seen, um, we've put a new length of trunking on and so that goes all the way up to the ceiling. So we've just put the meter tails and the main earthing cable in. So I've got a gas bond up here, which is leading to nothing at the minute. So what we're gonna do is gonna put a MET on the inside 
of here and then we're going to bring that across and then straight into into there and that takes care of that so i'm not going to do the final connections in there yet because i'm going to now concentrate on getting the light up above your head uh, and back to the light switch and then that way i can then do all my testing and do the final connections and it will be hunky dory so let's get this uh, this light down above your head and have a look at the new one so it's time to remove the old loop button holder, get that gone and make way for the new strip light. This had a mixture of flat head screws and cross headed, why wouldn't you? So as I've already cut the cables out, I'm just going to pull them all out in one go right now, which is, seems to be a massive amount, but it is what it is. So if you're into keeping your scrap copper and cable, cut off all the accessories because they will downgrade you for payments on there. I'll wrap the cable and give it a little twist so I can get it in the rubble sack. Okay, so we've gone for a single strip light, so rather than a double, because I think that'll be more than enough. It's 4000K, which is equivalent to cool white, which is probably the best outcome for, for this garage and stuff. Uh, don't really need it any brighter than that, I feel. Uh, the only thing is, Potentially, if the client wants to have like a bit of a workshop area at the back, then they can do that, not a problem. Um, but I don't think they need that right now. Cable entry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through, straight through the back of it here. We're gonna mount it all up, but first and foremost, I probably could do with some cable in there. So, so it's time to put the cable in. Um, so we're gonna go from the board to the light switch, from the light switch up to above my head. That is the plan. So Earthshore cable is what we're using. So for those of you who don't know what Earthshore is, I'll show you. So Earthshore is basically cable that comes pre-installed with the sleeve in, um, saving you time and also money, if, believe it or not. So just think how much sleeving you go through. I know it's not going to be massive amounts, but it's, you know, it does save you time and it's a pretty cool product in fairness. So that's what we're using. First things first, we need to get the light now mounted up to the ceiling because we've got the first fix with the cable that is in, which is good. So with fitting these, it's quite important to make sure you use your measurements, which I'll show you shortly. It's really easy when you're standing there on the steps to think that you've got your light nice and square to the room, but it's really disorientating. So make sure you do measure it and measure it well. So you may have noticed I used the stud buddy to make sure I'm hitting the studs so I get a good fix in to make sure this light is not going to come off easily. So it's all wired in now, covers on, and now it's time to clip up the cables. In hindsight, I should have used a bit of trunking because it would have actually been quicker and probably a little bit neater, but hey ho. So we're on to wiring this in. Now with the Earthshore, don't have to mess about with the sleeve in. Make sure you are doing your double loops on your installation. What I mean by that is that you're doubling over the terminals at the very end to make sure they come into good contact into your RCBOs and your MET. Time to get the board cover back on so it's all ready to be energized in the next phase of the video. So next we're gonna go into the meter cupboard and start terminating the meter tails in there. Okay, so the light is on, all done and dusted. I've also just put the wire, wireless, I've just wired the switch up as well, so that is all taken care of. And the reason why I've just put the board cover on now, I have got to test it, but it's gonna be another video of the full testing procedure for this whole property. Um, so what's left for me to do now is get the meter tails all put back in and do the MET and also that earth bonding for the gas, which we'll take care of in a moment. Um, the reason why I've put the board cover on is because potentially as soon as I have done my meter tails, I can then take the lock off device off and that will make the terminals for the uh, main switch at the top of those live. So I wanted to make sure that that is all covered. Yes, I am here on my own at the minute, but obviously I just find it is probably best to practice and obviously the testing procedure as we go. Because the video's next video that you'll see will be the full testing procedure of what we're gonna go through in the entire house. So that being said, let's get the uh, meter tails all wired in and put to bed. First and foremost, we're gonna sort out the main earthing arrangement. So we're gonna sort this MET out straight away. So you might notice on there that I've got the earth tag already on. 
Now we're onto the neutrals. Now I use flexi tails because it just makes life a lot easier on everything. They've got color indication and they're a lot more malleable. So now we're wrapping around to sort our live conductor out. Yes, I could use a different tool for stripping it back, but I've just thought it's in my hand, let's get on with the job. So we'll tighten these up now and then get the cover on so it's all secure and nice and safe. And then what's left is just the actual earthing conductor for the house, followed by a cheeky little clean up. Sorting out the gas bond. Um, so I've put a new clamp on. I uh, didn't have to, but I have. I just think it makes life a bit easier. Now, what I tend to do on mine, um, on my earth bonding is put a lug on. I believe that's what it's called. Um, so basically one of these. I tend to find while putting that on, it ends up being a bit of a better finish uh, on there because you can loop which you're more than okay to do that uh, but I tend to find with an actual lug it's just a little bit of a neater neater job um, and you know then that it's it's all on it's not going to come slipping out the amount of jobs that I go to and it's literally just pushed into it now you, you can put some earth sleeving onto this, I've seen that, and it just seems a little bit excessive. Um, you don't need to do that because I, I don't really know whether what, what the, there was a little bit of a fad not very long ago about everyone's going, oh, earth's, you know, heat shrink everything and all that stuff. It just seems a bit stupid because you've got all of this, this the exposed um, conductive parts, and then you're, you're heat shrinking that little bit. I, don't really see what the point is of that. Um, so what I'm going to do is get that on here. We're going to clip across and then go into the actual meter cupboard and then join that into the MET. But I thought I'll just show you that. That's generally how I end up having these uh, as a finished product. Now pigtails, that's the other thing. Some people do loads of massive like pigtails where you curl it all around and all the rest of it. Um, again, I'm not, it doesn't really matter to me. It depends on whether you want to have that sort of look um, with here I'm probably not going to bother on this one uh, and have it just nice and straight and in, in it just functional just does the job so that's my next plan okay so MET's in all labeled up so we've got the gas bonding in so we have now energized the system to make sure that's all okay we've turned the RCBO on she is on I have just quickly blasted through the testing for this uh, this one circuit because obviously I just want to make sure and do a functional test. So here we go. Oh, and it's on. So that is all nice, done and dusted. Plenty bright enough for this room, which is fantastic. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you have not subscribed, make sure you do. The link is in the bottom corner. Turn your notifications on and uh, thank you very much for watching and I shall catch you on the next one. Right, take it easy. Look after yourselves.